Hi everybody, it's Sean from GoPart.com. We're here today going to show you how to replace uh, a turn signal on a 1995 Nissan Altima. This is going to be pretty much the same repair for any 93 to 97, uh, somewhere in that range. Uh, really easy. Um, all we're going to be using is a uh, Phillips screwdriver. You might need a, f a small flat blade screwdriver to help you with the wiring harness. Uh, this is really common. Uh, a lot of on-road debris, reed treads, things of that nature can, can come up. Uh, you'll end up with a uh, 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 cracked bumper cover, which actually the other side of this vehicle's bumper cover is cracked. Um, and then it'll completely wipe out the light. Uh, and you need to have your turn signals uh, for safety concerns. Also because the law enforcement's not real fond of not having any turn signals. So, um, real simple. All we're going to do is we're going to loosen and remove this Phillips screw. And then the whole assembly is going to come out. All right. Now on the back here is going to be a little tab. Push that tab to disconnect the wiring harness. It can be a little bit tough uh, because sometimes uh, you know you're unhooking it for the first time ever. Uh, but you push the little tab down, uh, and the entire assembly comes out. Um, if you order your part from GoPart.com. It, uh, it'll likely come with all new hardware, the bulb, uh, the sockets and everything. Uh, most of our models do. Um, it, if for some reason your model doesn't, if you got your part from somewhere else, um, it's really easy. You just slide off the plug and uh, transfer the bulb and the hardware and the wiring over to the new assembly. There's uh, nothing wrong with ours, so we're going to reinstall it. Uh, go ahead and connect the wiring harness here. Snaps right into place and you'll know whenever it's in there real good. You're going to use these tabs. You're going to slide that end in first and then feed the rest of the casing in. Okay. And then it's as simple as tightening up the Phillips screw for mounting. Then you're all set. You have a brand new turn signal. It's that easy.